Welcome to one of the most awe-inspiring natural phenomena on Earth. The Northern Lights, also known as Aurora Borealis, are a breathtaking spectacle that illuminates the polar night skies. This vivid display of colors is a result of intriguing scientific phenomena that take place millions of miles away from us. To understand the Northern Lights we must begin with the Sun, the catalyst of this captivating display. The Sun, a gigantic nuclear reactor, is continuously emitting a stream of charged particles referred to as the solar wind. This incessant stream travels through space at high speeds, often reaching our planet. The Earth, protected by its magnetic field, interacts with these incoming particles leading to fascinating results. The energy carried by the particles is released as they collide with the magnetic field, producing the light we associate with the northern lights. This interaction happens mainly over the polar regions due to the strategic placement of our planet's magnetic poles. These poles, like cosmic funnels, draw the charged particles into the Earth's high atmosphere. Here, they collide with the gases present in the atmosphere, primarily oxygen and nitrogen. Each collision releases energy in the form of light, with the color depending on the type of gas involved. Oxygen, for example, emits green and red light, while nitrogen gives off blue and purple hues. And thus in the silence of the polar night, a kaleidoscope of colors comes alive, resulting in the stunning spectacle we know. Oxygen gives off green and red light, while nitrogen glows blue and purple. The Northern Lights have fascinated people for millennia. This spectacular light show, also known as Aurora Borealis, has been a source of wonder and intrigue for countless generations. The mysterious and ethereal nature of these lights has led to a rich tapestry of myths, legends, and superstitions across different cultures and civilizations. For instance, the ancient Vikings, known for their bravery and seafaring skills, saw these mystical lights as a bridge to the gods, built by warriors who had fallen in battle, a testament to their bravery and honor. Meanwhile, the indigenous peoples of North America, deeply spiritual and connected to nature, held their unique interpretation of the phenomenon. They believed that the lights were the eternal spirits of their ancestors, dancing in the sky, watching over them, and guiding their paths. This interpretation a testament to their respect for their ancestors and their belief in the afterlife. Historically, the prominence of the Northern Lights in the polar regions was so extraordinary that it heavily influenced local folklore, culture, and belief systems. The lights were often seen as omens, spirits, or signs from the supernatural world, stirring the imagination and evoking feelings of awe. And we moved into the age of scientific exploration and understanding. These beliefs gave way to a more empirical explanation. Yet the awe and wonder associated with the Northern Lights remain undiminished. We now understand that lights are caused by charged particles from the Sun interacting with the Earth's magnetic field, but the magic and mystery associated with them continue to captivate us. Records of Aurora sightings can be traced back to ancient times. One noteworthy mention comes from the famed Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei. He coined the term Aurora Borealis in 1619. His inspiration for the name came from the Roman goddess of dawn, Aurora, and the Greek name for the north wind, Borealis. Today we understand their scientific basis, but they continue to inspire awe and wonder. While the best views are typically near the magnetic poles, the northern lights can occasionally be seen at lower latitudes, especially during periods of heightened solar activity. These periods often coincide with the solar maximum, the peak of the sun's 11-year cycle. During these high activity times, the auroras can extend beyond their usual locations, leading to unexpected and extraordinary visual spectacles over regions far south of the Arctic Circle. Historical records and anecdotes reveal this phenomenon has made its presence felt across diverse geographies, including countries that are not typically associated with such sightings. For those who wish to witness this stunning display of nature's light show, there are certain times that are more conducive. The equinox months of September and March have been observed to have a high incidence of geomagnetic activity, which fuels the intensity of the auroras. However, it is not just about timing. Location plays an equally vital role. Clear dark skies away from the glaring lights of urban settlements are quintessential for the best viewing experiences. The northern lights remind us of our planet's dynamic nature and its deep connections to the solar system. These celestial curtains of light, also known as Aurora Borealis, serve as a remembrance of the symphony of cosmic forces at play, a fascinating spectacle that paints the canvas of our night sky with a brush of ethereal colors. 
These natural light displays, usually seen in the polar regions, have been an integral part of human lore, captivating observers from all corners of the Earth. The science behind it is just as awe-inspiring, caused by the collision of particles from the Earth's atmosphere and charged particles from the Sun's atmosphere. These lights are a visual representation of the complex dynamics of our planet's magnetic field. They showcase a beautiful ballet of light and energy, like a cosmic fireworks show unfolding right before our eyes. They are an amalgamation of culture, science, and spectacle. A symbol of our everlasting quest for knowledge and understanding, wrapped up in a radiant spectacle, lighting up the night sky in a display of radiant beauty. They have been the source of inspiration and intrigue for countless generations. So the next time you gaze up at the night sky and witness those ethereal colors, remember, you're connecting with an ancient and universal human experience, spanning the breadth of our understanding from myth to science. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe.